this is about Manisha Koirala, the starring in new film. Tell us about the film. Have you started it, and what is Manisha's role in it, and how far are you satisfied with her in the film? See, this again is a dream. Uh, Daman is a dream, and I think uh, unless everybody respects that dream the way I dream it, that high will not come when you see the final film on screen. So it will take me time for people to to respect my dream, whether it is Manisha or it is the producers or anybody else. You know, I think they have to respect this dream. Okay, this dream is really valid for the country and valid for as a statement in art. So I think it will take time even in Manisha because today she's at a high. She's very busy and uh, although she's committed to the film, but she has to put in a lot more effort into becoming that character. So that is a struggle that we have to, I have to slowly uh, go through to make her get into that role because it's, if she does this role, it's going to make her a legend, you know. So I'm just trying to see how committed and how involved she can become and uh, uh, it will take a little time. I think. But uh, as far as finances and other things go, you don't think it's going to be a problem for this film? Well, uh, Gramco Films are producing it. They're having some internal problems uh, in terms of rationalizing the production because uh, they need also a professional team to do it. Which and This is their first film, so they're having some teething trouble, but uh, I'm sure um, after so much effort has gone into it, uh, the film will be made uh, according to what we have imagined it to be. Is it a big budget film? Very big budget. It's not a very big budget film. It's again film set in UP, it's set in Awadh and again, you know, the budgets for production values are not much. You know, sets and properties are, the budget is not more than about 10-15 lakhs, which is nothing. So it's going to be uh, more what I can create with nature and real locations than uh, uh, high drama. Who else is in the film? I'm working on Nasiruddin Shah. So or Shashi Kapoor, one of the two. So it depends on who the producers can finalize. You know, they have not been able to finalize one of either of the two. You've already begun some initial. Uh... I've done the music. What ten songs have been done? Who's scoring it? Khayyam. Beautiful music. I think this is going to be uh, music of the decade. Thank God they're getting back Khayyam because I think people are really missing him. Yesterday when we heard the uh, mm. music, could uh, feel that. I'm glad you're saying that. Yeah. And I, I would like people to respect this kind of music because he's a great musician. Uh, he's a very self-respecting man, and he's not in the rat race. Uh, and I, it's you can market him. He's highly marketable. You just have to get work out of him and he's highly marketable. In fact, he did a song in this film which uh, people thought he may not be able to do and it's a very, very fast number. So it's not that he can't do it, it's just that you have to inspire him to do it. You know? And he's uh, it's a slightly uh, exacting person, a little difficult to get on, but he's today, he's got melody in his uh, bloodstream. But uh, say, uh, They're not even personal. Uh, Anjuman was more social. See, uh, my after Umrajan, I made a film called Agaman, which was uh, dealing with the sugar cane problem, the sugar cane growers. And I tried to give it a kind of a lyrical approach by using poems by Fez and by giving it very stylized kind of visual treatment and uh, music. Uh, but it was based on a, a social issue which is a burning issue today. The problem of sugarcane growers in my area is a very, very valid thing and I wanted to do it. And I feel uh, it's a very important uh, statement of my life. I mean, it may not uh, appeal to a larger section of uh, synagogues, but for me to understand the sugarcane growers problem and put it on celluloid is a very big opportunity because entire UP is run by cane politics. Eh? Then similarly, Anjuman was a prob was a film on the exploitation of the chicken craft, uh, 
and that again I felt was a very very uh, sensitive social problem and I tried to give it a, a lyrical approach uh, so I try to give uh, I try to do these kind of films which are not magnum opuses but uh, but go into the beauty of the small thing you see but I think my strength lies in creating grandeur and uh, being a painter being very close to music, very close to poetry. I think uh, uh, creating a, a grand film is really what I'm made out to be and cut out to be. Now, see, uh, like there is one aspect of you where you're socially concerned. The other one is the poet in you. Do you think you're able to merge both of them in your films? Yeah, I think uh, uh, the poet in me is uh, is really a kind of a, uh, I, I'm not a poet myself, but I think like a poet. And I've been inspired by revolutionary poets like Faiz Ahmed Faiz. And I think there's a lot of Urdu poetry which has been uh, triggered off by uh, 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 social circumstances, a dream to create a uh, egalitarian society, a dream to uh, foster human brotherhood and equality of man. So there's a lot of Urdu poetry which is based on these kind of feelings, you know, modern Urdu poetry. And earlier Urdu poetry which is based on the concept of love, you know, concept of the beloved. So all these things somehow uh, I find uh, uh, become very uh, real issues for me and they become my vocabulary for uh, making a film also. In both Umrajan and Zuni, we see that the woman is the central character. Now, is it because you uh, have a great regard for womanhood and you think uh, they need to be protected? I think uh, it's also one, on one hand, the way uh, my uh, mother looked at uh, a social situation and uh, she, uh, it was a feminine view of looking at society, a very intense view, a very detailed view, a very humane view. And I think that began to create a kind of a viewpoint for me. And the second thing is basically my cultural conditioning where uh, a lot of poetry is addressed to a, uh, to a woman, you know. And, uh, the beauty of a woman, the attributes of a woman, all these things become very important. And, uh, but I have created a little difference in my films. I've used poetry to express the woman. You know? It's woman's poetry. That poetry is very rare in Urdu. A lot of poetry is addressed to the woman. And in my films, the, the poetry is, is the voice of the woman, which you find in people like Amir Khosro. Or you'll find in... Uh, 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 even Habba Khatun, it was a poetry of the woman. Or uh, you'll find that in uh, uh, in a lot of uh, Tumris, where the woman pines for Lord, uh, with the Radha pines for Lord Krishna. You know, so it's a woman's feelings. You know, so uh, I think that is uh, a very interesting influence of uh, Indian culture. You know. And um, it's a, uh, I think the synthesis of uh, of the Persian and the uh, and the Indo-Persian culture, you know.